look who's joining us. Only the women's world champion. It's Nuchirut Wangarutai. Mink, so lovely to have you back. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. And indeed, we have Bex Kenner as well. Rebecca Kenner, lovely to see the have world you. number four. And indeed, the woman that this lady beats in the semi final. Well, we'll say no more about that for now. <laughs> Mink, tell me what it was like to win the world title and how tense a match it was against Wendy Yans. Um, for difficult for me because that time she played very good. Um, I'm very special because uh, last two years ago I lose for Rian and go to final again and very special and very exciting. And Bex, this was quite a final, wasn't it? It was it was the women's black ball final. In effect, it was yeah. the 1986 final all over because yeah. it went 6-5 and came right down to the last ball. Mm. Yeah, it was good. I, I was watching it on my phone. Um, and then Wendy left herself a long black. Um, and Wendy is so good, I thought she was going to pot it, but she left it for Mink and Mink doesn't miss, so. Mink, we saw you here a few years ago, and Stephen was here as well, when you became the first woman to make a maximum break. Yes. And we've been following your progress since then. You've had so much publicity. Tell me about the visit to meet your Prime Minister and the parade around Bangkok. How big a deal was this back home in Thailand for you? Oh, it's good for welcome to Thailand. And president in Thailand, I'm um, very happy for my champion. And indeed, you there you are, very formal. Yes. <laughs> but it was a big occasion, mm -hmm. and this must yeah, have been a lovely in my moment for you. Um, have uh, for my champion. Welcome for comeback. Yep, you had an yeah. open-topped and a rather lovely car, I must say, around <laughs> town. But it shows you, Becca, and it shows you, Stephen, just mm -hmm. how popular the sport has become. This lady is a huge star back home in Thailand. And, of course, we've seen snooker players like James Watana over the year mm -hmm. become big stars there too. Absolutely. I mean, with two Thai players in the World Championship th this year, um, John Higgins beat them both, because John Higgins is not going to be very popular in, in Thailand, <laughs> I, I don't think. I was going to say, how, how often do you practice? Like, how many hours a day or how many days a week? Oh, well, Mink, you play full-time. Um, yes, yeah, I full play full-time about eight hours for one day. Eight hours? Yes. Yeah, wow. I do. I, have to, I work oh, okay. <laughs> and I, I do coaching, uh, but I have a shop. I have a table in my shop, right. but I don't get a chance to play on it much. But, yeah, so maybe two hours a day maximum if, if okay. I have a tournament. So. Um, yeah, not as much as Mink. So. Eight hours, wow, that's long days. That's, a lot. that's, that's a lot dedication. Of but I think that the wonderful thing here is that, Stephen, you may indeed be facing one of these players because the two of them <laughs> <laughs> have just secured their passports to yeah. the World Snooker Tour. You're practicing too much. Uh, <laughs> Ten minutes a day is fine. <laughs> How big an opportunity is this for you, Bex? You, you tell well, us. It's first. huge for me because I've come from being a part time player trying to compete with the likes of Mink, Rihanna, and Onye. Um, to now get this opportunity to play full time. So yeah, I'm, I'm diving in and taking it with both hands. Like I'm, I'm leaving my job um, and I'll be full time snooker. So yeah, hopefully it's going to bring on my game massively. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure it will. And we've actually got four players, four female players on the tour now. You're just starting your two years. Yeah. But of course, we've got uh, Ngon Yi of Hong Kong, again, a former world champion. And Rianne Evans, who's a 12-time world champion. She's on the second part of her tour as well. So, yeah. so many new opportunities coming through. And these are opportunities that Mandy Fisher in particular has been striving to try and achieve for a very long time. Since 1981, uh, she's been trying to get this tour off the ground. A former world champion herself, and Abby Davis has been speaking to her about the brilliant progress that's been made in the women's game. Mandy, founding member of World Women's Snooker, it's fantastic to have you here. Could you just tell us a little bit about the importance of Women's Day here at the Crucible? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. It is really important to try and encourage other young girls and women of all ages um, to come along, try the sport and uh, hopefully build up the uh, women's snooker bigger and better and have role models so that people can see that women do play snooker. And there are so many incentives and opportunities for young girls and women at the moment. Could you just tell us a little bit about those and how important they are? 
they're, they're really important. There's vital that the WPBSA, we now have the women's tour cards, which uh, the women can come along and play in the men's professional. I know it's men's professional, but we've always been allowed to play. It, it's always been an open sport. It's just giving the same opportunities to the women. The camaraderie the girls have, that's such an important part as well, isn't it? That's right. We have tournaments all over the world, and the girls travel, and they're very good friends. We go to Thailand, uh, we go to Belgium, and uh, we have a Onyi from Hong Kong, we have Rianne from this country and we have uh, Mink, uh, Nuturat Wangaruthai, nicknamed Mink because a lot of people can't say her name, who's a fantastic ambassador for the sport. And you mentioned Mink there, she's just won the World Championships. How excited are you by her skills? Absolutely, she, she is the future of the game, who's only 22 from Thailand uh, competing uh, in all the professional events and we just hope that she wins as many matches as possible. And you mentioned those names there, the important message isn't it that if you see it you can be it? Absolutely, yeah. We, we need ambassadors to show um, the whole world that women can play this sport and there's no physical reason why a woman should not play snooker as good as a man. It's just that we haven't had the same opportunities and these are now coming along. Well, we've had four female players in the qualifying championship to get here to the Crucible, and I know you're going to be starting your careers on the main tour. Mink, what are you most looking forward to about playing professionally on the men's tour? Yeah, um, I think it's beginning a beginner for my life and new experience for play with men. And, and I think I want to win some match and approve for my, myself. Yeah. I'm saying it's the men's tour, it's not. It's always been an yeah. open tour, as Mandy was saying here, but yeah. what do you hope that your example, Bex, and that of the other women on this tour is going to do for aspiring young players going forward? Yeah, well, I think it's going to bring the women's game on loads because we're going to see women play on the tour. So when I was growing up uh, in the 90s watching Hendry, I only ever saw men on tour, so I always thought, oh, it's a men's tour. There must be some kind of women's mm. tour somewhere. But So now everyone can see it's mixed, um, which should help improve the women's game. And Stephen, if there was one tip about starting your career on the on the snooker tour, what would it be? For I, me? I think the important thing is to always learn. When I turn professional, you, you learn by losing, unfortunately, <laughs> but it's the way to go. And, and by playing, obviously, better players all the time, your game will improve. You, you just say, you might think it's, you, you might not like in the beginning because yeah. you lose more than you win, but then you'll see your game improve. And I think that's the thing to, to keep the faith, keep the confidence yeah. that your game is improving. Well, we thoroughly look forward to seeing you throughout the next few months. At Mink and Bex, thank you very much. And hopefully one of these days we'll be introducing you as part of our afternoon lineup here yeah. at the Crystal. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank the very, you. very best of luck to you.